Hello and welcome to take five. I nearly say take two then, but it's day two, take five. I'm really excited to be looking at the scriptures. We're continuing the book of Psalms together. So today's passages that we've been looking at specifically are going to be Psalms 42 to 44. Um, I've written down some things that really encouraged me from reading through these Psalms and hopefully they encourage you too. Here's one thing. Faith rises to the occasion. Okay, so when you've got faith, there's sometimes like, like a rising up in faith to the occasion in the moment seeing God do some cool things the second thing I've written down is his presence brings salvation when we experience God's presence however it looks like whether it's in private or in public we we, we get the gift of salvation we, we see the gift of salvation being outworked um, and so his presence brings salvation is the second thing the third thing that I've written here which I think is really cool is is this fix your face on his face now it sounds really simple and it sounds a bit weird like what fix your face um, but like fixing your face on his face is, is going to be the kind of key message that I'm going to look at today uh, from Psalm 42 specifically because David repeats himself time and time and time again and, and really gives us uh, it gives us this encouragement uh, to praise okay I want to speak about praise and what can happen when we praise here's what he says he says my soul why are you downcast so he's got this question mark over his own soul. Why are you downcast? And then he says, but yet I will praise him, my savior and my God. And he goes on to say again, later on in verse 11, he says, my soul, why are you downcast? Ask the same question again. He's asking his soul, why are you feeling down? Why are you feeling low? Why are you depressed? Why are you miserable? Why are you, why are you so upset all the time? <laughs> but then he goes on to say, yet I will praise him. I will praise him. I'm choosing to praise. I'm opting to praise. I'm acting on this feeling that maybe isn't necessarily the feeling that I have, but I'm choosing to praise. I'm choosing to give him my adoration. Uh, and I think praise is a choice. And then he ends and resolves this way. He says, my soul, why are you downcast? This is verse five in chapter 43 now. Same thing again. He says, however, yet I will. And that word keyword, yet I'm choosing to praise. I'll put my hope in God, my Saviour and my God. And I think uh, it's raining outside this cabin, so I'm hoping you can't hear too much of it. Earlier there was like like rain just pouring down the side and it sounded like someone was going for, for, for a wee around the back. So hopefully it doesn't make you need the toilet wherever you are. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's get back to praise. Uh, and basically fixing your face on his face, fixing the face, like, almost like choosing not to be miserable and downcast. But almost going deeper in God and choosing to, to, even though we feel low, choosing and acting to still praise. Yet I will still praise. Yet, yet I'm going to choose to press in and praise him. And there's a remedy that I've written down, which is maybe helpful. Maybe it's not helpful, but I, th I found it helpful. So I've put downcast uh, or down and depressed, two kind of like Ds. But then I've put the remedy is hope and, hope and honesty. So there is a hope yet I'm going to praise him. He is the hope. He's the, the, the anchor of hope that we can anchor into. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with myself. I know I don't feel the best. I know I don't feel great at the minute, but I can be honest enough to know that I feel that way, but not allow it to dictate my praise and my worship and my adoration for God. So hope and honesty as a remedy for down and depressed. I hope that that's encouraged you. I know it's maybe, you know, if you're feeling low, it feels a bit like, really, you're saying all these things, but I'm feeling pretty low at the minute. Um, I know that sometimes we go through highs and lows, but if you are in that season of feeling down, if you're in that season of feeling a bit downcast, a bit depressed, uh, then ultimately I'd encourage you to still choose, if you can, to find that place of, of praise and in that place of praise, discover like, like this next level um, of choosing, not praising out of your feelings, not praising out of your emotions, but dis in despite of your feelings and emotions, choosing to praise. Uh, so hopefully that's encouraged you today. And I hope, hope, however you're feeling, that you would know that remedy, that there's always hope and there's always space to be honest about where you're at with God. He knows better than you do. So it's probably the best decision the wisest decision to be honest with him and to be honest with yourself i hope you're encouraged have an awesome day and let's get praising jesus come on let's go